Hey, hello there. In this video, I want to talk about the new essential nodes. Uh, I gave it a little update, and as you can see here, all, the, all of them have uh, little icons, so you know what they do. I will be going over all of the tools uh, and how they work, because now I have all these uh, collections, and in them you can see one example that uses uh, every one of these nodes. So here you see all of them in the essentials and then I have them on this curve. Um, here you can see we have patterns, we have shapes, we have transforms, mesh transforms, uh, curves and materials. And if we go in here, um, you see this is the first one. We have a torus. Uh, it's already UV unwrapped. Here you can set if you want to have it like fully circular and here as well 360 uh, no it's the angle here you can twist it uh, it's not this one sweep this one must be uh, 360 then you have a full torus and here it connects and the UVs are pretty well uh, to work with so if we go back this is the torus then next we have the gradient and the gradient is used like this you can uh, plug in your geometry and then when you use instances you can set the gradient here if I expand it a little you can have it farther from the edge or closer to the edge let me scale this up a little bit so you see what is happening uh, you have the edge hardness so how much fall off there is and then a minus and max value so you see the biggest one is really big and the smallest one is really small if you go negative they come back at the edge again you can also flip it and then the effect is reversed so that is what the gradient does then we go into hexagons and hexagons is just a hexagonal pattern so if I go into this, you can set the amount in the Y and in the X axis, and then also the size of the hexagon, which is the radius. And here I make them into these balls and lines, so it's also better visible for the icon. Then we have the solidify, and a solidify is just, uh, just as you have here, in the generate menu solidify it just makes a solid of your object so this is just an x a mesh and when we solidify it it will thicken it and it will cap it also so it's a closed shape and i missed that a little bit so i made my own node here it's what's inside very easy to make but it is in the essential nodes. Then we have a tube and here we can see what the tube does. It is capped so it has a nice round end so you can make all kinds of uh, things happen like drawing lines and there is a resolution of the cap that you can set. Uh, there's a resolution of the amount of lines that you have in this direction and also the resolution of the, uh, the curve and what you can also do is twist it so you see that it twists and the cap will always align with the geometry so it will stay and look nice you can also trim the ends so now the cap ex extends so the curve goes to here and when I do this it uh, caps it to the end of your curve so it becomes a little bit easier to work with if you want to make these kinds of tubes then next we have thickened curve and it works like this we just have a curve and it gives it a thickness so the offset you see that it becomes bigger if at one point if you go too far it overlaps but without overlapping it will uh, give it a nice thickness and you can resample it over here and then we have surface relief and here you can 
use this node to create a relief. I'm using now a Voronoi texture and here you can see the scale, you can change it. And here I have a from min, so I can flip it uh, to max. So the maximum and the minimum uh, of the grayscales that it's using. And this is the height, the minus and max of the height. And this you can see as a color ramp that is being used or a map range node. So you can set how much you want to use from the uh, initial texture that you're using here. So you can make all kinds of reliefs. Here's also a set smooth built in. So it does that automatically. Then we have a reset normals node. Uh, and here, these are all the normals. And when I turn this on, uh, I have to go in here, uh, mute. Now it flips uh, the geometry to face the same way. So here you can see, this is a material. This is not really uh, the outside. You can also flip it, uh, flip. Ah, okay, it needs also another uh, another input so you can flip it with a switch here. I'm gonna build that in as well. But this was an old node that I find really useful also to flip your normals when things are a bit messy. You have several uh, use cases. You can use it from the center. You can use a normal from uh, auto UVs. Well, this one doesn't uh, uh, use the UVs. You can also use your custom normal map. So now it's using the UV sphere normal map and that's why it flipped. So you should flip it again here to flip it inside out again. So that is the flip normals node. But then we have the rounded cube. Uh, this is like a fairly simple thing, but I seem to use it a lot. You have a bevel um, that you can use. You have a bevel resolution. You can shade it smooth and you have all the dimensions of the cube that you can set. I use this a lot for generating bricks or maybe uh, walls or maybe a structure of a house and then give the edges already a bevel without having to go into the modifiers. So uh, it's usually a pretty good uh, beginner mesh or a base mesh to start from. Then we have bounding box and with the bounding box you have this for example, I typed high here, I fill the curve, I use extrude and then here I'm using it, realizing the instances because if I don't, they both get uh, just a bounding box, but the geometry has to be realized. And then I can set like the height from the bounding box and also the uh, margin. So I use this a lot when I make typography and I need like a backplate and then it creates a bounding box that you can just like adjust very quickly here and give it like a nice backplate. Uh, so that's very handy as well. Then we have the smooth remesh and here you can see I have two meshes and with the smooth remesh uh, no, I need to just plug in this one. Then it remeshes them and smooths them out. So if I turn off the smooth, then you see it becomes very uh, blocky. When I turn on the smooth, here you ha also have the smooth iterations. So I can make it really smooth if you want. But uh, this would be for me a good value. And here is the mesh resolution. So if I go in, this is the resolution of the meshes that are being created. You can also make it a lot bigger, then it smooths out everything. The smaller you make it, the more performance heavy it will be. So that is the smooth remesh. Then we have the diameter and diameter is just a um, conversion because a lot of these Curve circle, this is a radius, but 
I usually want to know the diameter. It's just something I like to work with more. So I just made this converter that you can set the diameter and plug in the radius for all these values. Very simple, but useful. And then here I have the floor seal center node with which you can uh, like place your object to the center the ceiling this is seal center or floor so it's on the floor it's on the ceiling or it's in the middle at the center and here you can uh, see how to do it this is the node floor seal center you can just just choose from the drop down menu and uh, everything should work so that's one of the nodes then we have the smooth mesh it's very simple it's not a remesh it just uses the geometry that's already there i just made a cube this is the cube and when you smooth remesh it will uh, smooth the whole mesh very simple to do you can also just find this on uh, uh, youtube a simple tutorial for this but i think it's nice to have it in here as well then we have the geo node material what I found, what I did a lot, was uh, that I wanted to give my uh, geometry nodes object some nice colors very quickly. So I made this material node in uh, geometry nodes, which is just a uh, collection of store named attributes for all the attributes from a uh, material. So here they're all plugged in and if you drag this one into your node setup it will take the material and this whole setup so it becomes really easy to just give a color and a metallicness and a roughness to the object without having to create a whole material again so uh, i use this a lot in my uh, node setups to just get a little bit of a feeling of uh, different materials uh, and it works very quickly so that is also one of the nodes then we have the transform uh, and that also came from um, like the need to be able to plug in directly without creating a uh, combined node so usually you take a transform node transform regular transform geometry you had to do this and then if you want a rotation you have to convert it so i put it here in one node and also with the ability to close them so it's a, a little bit more neat and clean if you are building your geometry nodes and you want to plug in values right in these ports instead of having to use these uh, factor uh, inputs so that is the transform node and then next we have the extend edges so if i take this cube it's just a cube and here it's deleting all the faces and it's extending all the edges here i'm making them uh, tubes and here you can see i extend uh, one side and here i extend the other side so this is uh, how the extend works. And then last but not least, we have the spiral node. This is also a little bit adjusted. Here you can say if you want it from rotations, so you can set the amount of rotations or you can set it from the length. So it gives you the total length and then you can just unroll or roll it up with this value. And here I'm uh, seal or centering it. So this is how it usually works. It just unrolls and with center. It stays nicely in the center. And then I'm making it into a tube again and transforming it a little, translating it and also rotating it. So this is what it was essentially. And with rotation, it uh, is nicely in view for making the icon here. So um, these are the essential nodes. You can get them now on Blender Market and um, they are updated and it's much more 
visible in your uh, library as assets to take them from and drag them into your projects. So I hope this is useful and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.